The final race from Dubai and the final race of the week for me will be the Dubai Gold Cup. And this is over two miles, it's a group two. And got some familiar names in this. Homeboy patch at the top for Munas. Rocky Mountain Ocean for Vinnie Gerard. Highbury in October for oh, Graham Clitter. Poppets Path, Dan Hughes. So alive, Craig Beckwith. Tactile East, David Robertson. Time Queen, Leon Van Rensburg. And Z-Eyes for Darren Thompson. A uh, few... Return is in this one then, eight of them, over the two mile trip. That one installed and ready to go, they're on the turf, and away they go. And who's going to be the first one to take the lead? Looks like it might well be Homeboy Patch who's going to get there and get across to the fence as well. So Homeboy Patch it is then who's settled down in front. And has gone two lengths clear of Zi's in second. Then on the inside of that one is Tactile East. Time Queen is also up there. Rocky Mountain Ocean is the only grey in the field. The back marker is just so alive, but not very far off the rest of them. In fact, it's probably only two lengths on second. And they cannot pass the winning post. Then they've got two more complete circuits of the track to do. And Homeboy Patch is in the lead from Tactile East in second. And then Zi's is in third. In fact, they might not have two circuits at all because this is quite a large track, this one. So they probably only got this one circuit still to go. And you can see they have indeed because the turf track has not ran the outside. So it's Homeboy patching the lead then. Commentator doesn't know what he's talking about. Tactile East is in second. Then comes Zi's in third. And Rocky Mountain Ocean is fourth. Hybrid October is on the inside in fifth. Alongside that one is Poppet's Path. And then Time Queen in the gold cap. And finally, So Alive in the White Sleeves is the back marker. So they've got a mile and a quarter still to go. And Homeboy Patch is a good five lengths clear of Tactile East on the inside in the hoop colours. Then comes Zi's and Highbury in October. Rocky Mountain Ocean, the only grey after that one. Then Time Queen and Poppet's Path. And finally, So Alive on the outside. And it's Homeboy Patch. With a mile to race in the lead. Zi's has now been driven up to take much closer order within two lengths now. In Highbury in October and Tactile East together. Time Queen is tucked in after them. And a little gap to the back three of Poppets Path So Alive and Rocky Mountain Ocean the Grey. Homeboy patch in front by length. To Zi's in second. Time Queen is in third. Then Tactile East. In October, pop its path, Rocky Mountain Ocean, and finally, so alive. Five foot on still to go. Homeboy patches lead is down to a nick. From Zi's in second, Time Queen is third, then a gap of two or three lengths, then to Harbour in October on the outside of pop its path, who's starting to make significant looking progress. Also, trying to come around the outside now, Rocky Mountain Ocean. As the field begins to bunch as Homeboy Patch starts to tire in there. Poppets Path's gone on. Three furlongs still to go wide open. Wouldn't rule anything out of this yet. Possibly with the exception of Homeboy Patch. who looks to have shot his bot. It's Poppets Path in the lead from the grey Rocky Mountain Ocean who's getting going on the outside. Highbury not so. We know that one stays is in third. Then Tactile East. Time Queen is next. Then Samalize and Zi's. But it's Poppets Path in front from Rocky Mountain Ocean. Rocky Mountain Ocean trying to another one for Vinnie Gerard. Rocky Mountain Ocean is in front and hit the furlong pole. It's Rocky Mountain Ocean in the lead. Pop its path in second. Hybrid October is third. Time Queen is fourth. But this is Rocky Mountain Ocean for Vinnie Gerard. Five furlongs, six furlongs, seven furlongs, eight furlongs, two miles. He doesn't care how long it is. And Rocky Mountain Ocean takes it. Pop its path in second. Time Queen third. The eyes four. Then Tactile East. And the long time leader, Homeboy Patch, dropped out the back. Vinnie Gerard is winning over all distances at the moment. And well clear at the end of the first week of the season. There's still four or five races to go, which Gray is going to take you through. Thanks to Gray for stepping in and helping out with the flat commentaries this week. So the final race for me then was the Dubai Gold Cup and Rocky Mountain Ocean takes it for Finney Gerard. Poppets Path was second for Dan Hughes. Time Queen Leon Van Rensburg was third. The eyes Darren Thompson fourth. And Hybrid October four. Graham Clutterbuck in fifth, who's now going to take you through the final maidens of the week.